Everyone wants to be on the top of the step, but they don't want to do the work to get there. For, you know, and this really annoys me, you know. You just need to make a start. You need to get things over the line. Don't look for perfection on day one because it ain't ever going to happen. It just doesn't happen. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you all the things that you don't need when you start a business. They're the things that you think you need, but I guarantee you don't need them. And I'm going to back it up with facts, evidence, and real life stories of my business life journey. Today, I, on a Facebook message, I think it was, or maybe even Linky Dink, um, I got a message from someone that's finishing their business and they've put down a list of all the things that they think they should have done for their business to stay in business. There was one or two things that I absolutely wholeheartedly agree with and I'm going to share them with you. Most of the cases, I completely disagree with them. One of their points was, our website wasn't good enough. I've built businesses that have turned over half a million pounds in their first year and we didn't have a bloody website. Don't think you need some great website to get your business going. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I think a website is hugely important in 2019, 2020. Um, to have for your business, but it isn't the thing that's the biggest driver of your business because here's the crucial point that people forget. They spend thousands of pounds on a website, but then they don't drive any traffic to it, so no one's seeing the bloody thing. Hey, if I was selling products, I wouldn't be thinking about uh, a website first. I'd be thinking about how to get it on Amazon, how to get it on Shopify, how to get it on eBay, because I would want to leverage off of Facebook's already got eyeballs on there and sell it on Facebook Marketplace, for example, because they've already got the traffic, so traffic comes before the website. You gotta think about how you're gonna get the eyeballs on your website. I mean, gone are the days where you can just shove something onto the internet and everyone's gonna see it. Y your real plan is, how do we get people to see what we're putting on the internet? So this is the big thing that I think startups and established businesses have. They think if they've got the best website, they're all of a sudden gonna get loads of customers. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I've learned it the hard way. Next thing is branding. They just say, oh, I don't think our brand looked good enough. Oh, come on, have a day off, please. I'll start my Jimbo the Party Man brand, which was a kid's entertainer. No brand, no brand, fully booked within 12 months because I'd done a good product and I promoted that product using PR back in the day, newspapers, being on radio shows, going to schools. I went out and I got customers. This is the difference, guys. It's not some fancy brand. I mean, yes, I also agree, like website and great brand. I love branding. Guys, I mean, it's all around me. I, I get heavily involved in all that branding. Yeah, I really like it, but not at the actual detriment to the core message of actually getting customers for the business. Yes, you don't need the best branding in the world when you start off. You don't even need a website when you start off because there's you can have a mini website called Facebook where you can actually get eyeballs seeing your stuff for free. For example, people go, oh, our CRM, we didn't, we didn't, we couldn't invest in the best software or have unique made software. Come on, guys, there's free software that you can literally pull off the shelves right now. You know, you can get MailChimp, Excel is a great way of starting off. I mean, Yes, obviously it's not convenient. It's more time that goes into it and it's a bodge job. But here's the thing that I always look for in our business. I'm like, guys, let's just make a start and then continuously improve. Best location. Here's another thing that people say, oh, oh, we didn't have the best locations. Yeah, no, don't, don't get me wrong. If you've got the best locations where people are going to see you, that's obviously going to help. But hey, my first business, we started in an industrial estate where no one knew where it was. So we went out there and got customers and told people about it because we couldn't afford the great locations. It's about steps in business. You know, everyone wants to be on the top of the step, but they don't want to do the work to get there. For, you know, and this really annoys me, you know. Yeah, you want the best branding, brilliant. But actually, if you've got some customers and you've got some cash flow, then you can invest some of that cash in to get the best branding to get your ideal customers. And this is the thing, gang. This is the thing. This is going to wrap up this, what I really want to talk about. Everyone wants their ideal scenario, their ideal customers, their ideal website, their ideal branding, their ideal CRM, their ideal staff, their ideal locations from the off, and it just don't happen, gang. It just doesn't happen. You need to look for what can you do at ease? You know, what's the stuff that you can do easy? Build up some experience. Disney's most customers are people that consume their content. Google's most customers are the people that search on Google for free. But because they've got tons and tons of most customers, what that allows them to do, which is actually their marketing, it's their entry level stuff, Google search and Google um, and Disney content, i.e. films, TV shows, is marketing that's allowing them to shop 
for their ideal customers. And now, here's the great thing, guys. The SME can do that too. You can write books easier than you ever thought possible now. You can make podcasts. You can do stuff like I'm doing, put out great content. We've got Party Man TV. It's our YouTube channel for our play centers, which is just great, fun content for kids so that people can start immersing themselves for free into our brand. And then they're going to come to our sites and pay us some money, which is more of an ideal customer. Then go to our nurseries, which is even more of an ideal customer. And that's the process that you need to go through, guys. You just need to make a start. You need to get things over the line. Don't look for perfection on day one because it ain't ever going to happen. Let me tell you a little fact about this when Disney World, who is probably the perfection of perfection companies now that's 100 years old, but when they started up the first Disney World, people were walking in, the tarmac wasn't dry, the people's bloody shoes were in the ground and they couldn't get them out. They were stuck to the ground. The queues were all full. People complained about the food, but they made a start. And when you make a start, perfection happens. So don't think you need websites. Don't think you need the best branding. Don't think you need the best locations or the best team or the biggest and the best when you start because you don't. You need to make a start and you need to focus more on getting customers than operations because if you get customers, you're going to stay in business. And with that, I'm going to round it up. Let me know in the comments what you think because um, I, I want to have a little war on this because I'm sure there's going to be some people going, well, James, I completely disagree. You need a website when you start. I don't think you do. I think a website's great. I think branding's great. I think having the best CRM is great. I think having the best locations is great. I think all those things are great, but I don't think you need them to start. I didn't. See you real soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it to help grow your business. Don't forget you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to hit subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking this button right here. It gets better than that because you can come and see me at one of my seminars to help grow your business. All the details of how you can get to one of those for free is in the video description.